This is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. Hi everyone. So today I have Liam with me, and Liam is the Liam Sculpt by Bonnie Brown, and he was reborn by Emma Bennett. And I'm going to be changing him into um, a super cute outfit that I uh, got for him um, right after I first got him I was planning for the 4th of July and so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you right now and by the way happy 4th of July weekend are you guys gonna do anything fun uh, let's see today is Sunday tomorrow is the 4th of July and uh, yeah hopefully it's a happy time for everyone Liam has his uh, his Elmo doll with him and he's got his Elmo sippy cup with him all also. And he always has his night night Elmo book with him at all times. <laughs> so he, he has this whole entourage of things that he likes to have with him uh, whenever he gets changed or um, goes anywhere. Okay, so here's the outfit. Um, it's right here and um, it's in in glorious red white and blue um, it has uh, you know hearts in the shape of um, let me see if I can point out a heart I'm trying to see from the back here let's see oh okay so there's a heart right there the American flag there's balloons there's Uncle Sam's cap and um, just a whole bunch of stuff there's USA in there uh, bows there's even a mustache that you know an Uncle Sam a mustache so um, anyway that's the shirt that I um, that I wanted him for him to wear today and then it came with these really cute uh, red shorts and so he's going to be wearing shorts today and so then I thought you know he's I wanted to find him some really cute 4th of July Type of shoes to wear and I found these clogs and I couldn't resist getting them um, uh, they're size 4 I hope they're gonna fit him they they do have um, you know this this strap at the back that I think will help um, keep it keep the shoes on his feet but I just thought these would be super cute you know they look like they've been splashed with red white and blue paint and um, I think they're adorable and they're called Crocs little Crocs shoes. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started and get this little guy all changed up. Um, I also wanted to share with you one of my very favorite uh, summertime memories. Um, when I was in about the sixth grade, uh, my parents used to do uh, backyard barbecues. And um, during that time, we did not have a, an official barbecuer. And uh, so anyway, uh, my parents improvised and they, um, my mom would um, bring, my, bring my dad out the, uh, an oven rack, you know, from inside the oven. And uh, my dad would take uh, bricks that were uh, arranged along my mom's flower beds. Uh, my mom used to always put bricks along her flower beds for decoration as well as uh, to help keep the grass out of the flower beds and so uh, anyway my dad used those those bricks and he built up uh, bricks on either side and then he put the um, the rack on top and then he put a couple of more uh, bricks on top these are those red bricks you know and uh, so that kept it steady and then underneath he would put charcoal and I can still remember the smell of, of you know, charcoal and that, uh, that lighter fluid that, um, you know, <laughs> that you pour onto the charcoal and then you light it up. And uh, I still remember that smell. It was so, so good. Um, but anyway, then my mom, I'm going to go ahead and lay Liam down right here so we can get his, 
his big overalls off. He's wearing his cute little camping shirt. Um, it's a s'mores camping shirt, and he's been wearing that for quite a while now. So it's time for him to get changed. Um, anyway, so my what my mom would do while my dad was getting the barbecue ready outside is she would prepare the hamburger patties. And um, now back in those days, um, there was actually six uh, six total in our family. There was I had an older sister and then two younger brothers, and so we were always on a budget. Um, we you know we couldn't afford a lot of fancy schmancy stuff, so. Um, Anyway, so my mom would buy like about a pound of hamburger and she would slice it into six portions and then she would, you know, um, hand form the, the hamburger into patties and uh, she would bring them out to my dad and my dad would put them on the grill. And uh, I always remember my dad used uh, hickory smoke um, uh, barbecue sauce and uh, let's see, it was called I think the, the name of it was Chris and Pitts or something like that. And uh, he would use barbecue sauce uh, cooking, you know, he would uh, wipe it on um, at first and it would cook onto the hamburgers the whole time. And then by the time the hamburgers were done, <laughs> the, uh, they were nice and brown, almost black, you guys. But that was because the barbecue sauce kind of, uh, you know, overcooked on it. But anyway, um, and then during the time that he was cooking the hamburgers, he would put these little tiny onions. Um, they're probably about the size of a ping pong ball, maybe smaller than that. He would put these little tiny onions, skin and all, into the coals um, and they would roast. They would slowly roast um, while he was cooking the hamburger. And um, I remember uh, mainly just my, my mom and dad would eat them because, you know, we were just little kids and we weren't much into eating, you know, onions and that type of thing. But um, I remember one time I wanted to, to taste one. And so um, he gave me one and I popped it. My dad, this is my dad I'm talking about. He, uh, he popped one into my mouth and uh, it was it was really... I remember it's kind of mushy and kind of tasted charcoal-y and um, um, I didn't not like it but I, I don't remember ever asking for any more. <laughs> so I think that was a tradition for him to do that um, while the burgers were cooking. But um, anyway, yeah, that's a really good memory, you know, that I have. And the way that we cooked our hot uh, our um, hamburgers, um, well, you know, I told you how you cooked them, but the way that we would put them together was with regular like white sliced white bread um, because you know we couldn't afford hamburger buns um, and so my mom would get you know uh, she would always we'd always have bread we had bread every night for dinner we'd each have a slice um, but uh, on hamburger night we got to have two slices of bread and uh you know we got to make our hamburger up with the with the bread instead of using buns and so that's how i grew up with using bread like that you know uh, so yeah and you know what um i did not miss a thing I, us kids did we didn't miss a thing you know we weren't ever you know like jealous of other people having hamburger buns or any of that stuff because we didn't know about them <laughs> But um, anyway, it's a really good memory, and um, I'm sure that we, not that I remember specifically that we did that on the 4th of July, but I'm sure that we did because that was kind of a tradition in the summertime to have those kind of barbecues. So I just, you know, thought it'd be fun to share that with you, and um, it's just, a, you know, a fun memory. And uh, I was just wondering if you all had uh, any fun memories of your own. Uh, you know, one of your favorite memories of, um, you know, a 4th of July um, event. So, uh, you know, whether whether you had it when you were growing up or, you know, if you had one uh, recently with your own family or whatever, I just thought it'd be fun to share um, 4th of July memories because after all, it is going to be the 4th of July tomorrow. Now, we don't, um, my husband and I, it's just the two of us and uh, so we don't um, really do anything, you know, to celebrate the 4th of July. But I do know that um, 
tomorrow we're going to be barbecuing chicken, so that's going to be a good thing. Um, I love my husband's barbecue chicken. I just really do. He's he's the best at barbecuing. Um, so, okay, you guys, here is the moment of truth. Let's see if these shoes fit Liam. Okay, so we're going to try this one on first. This is his left foot. Oh, I hope it, hope, hope, hope it fits. Let's see. Let me, let me just see if these things come out. No, they do, they do not. They're not snaps. So, kind of put his foot in there. Oh, they do fit. They do fit. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. I can't believe it. Um, <laughs> that's kind of fun, you know, when that, when something, when something good happens, isn't that just awesome? So, Yeah. Let me show you what um, it looks like you can kind of see what they look like. But I will pick up this little guy so you can see the whole outfit. I'm going to fix his legs. He's a heavy boy. Yes, he is. So there's his little, his little Crocs. There's his little Crocs. And see how they fit just right? They do. They just fit just right. I love them on him. There's his little red shorts. So yeah, there's my little 4th of July boy. Yep, I specifically got him an outfit when I, uh, for the 4th when I first got him and uh, I had planned on changing him for the 4th of July. So um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing him. So let me bring his El Elmo back and his little sippy cup back. And um, anyway, everyone, I hope you enjoyed seeing um, my little Liam, my, my big boy Liam for the 4th of July. I hope you all are going to have a wonderful um, family day or however you celebrate. Or if you don't celebrate, I just, just make it a good day. Um, so uh, thanks so much for stopping by. And until we meet again, bye-bye for me and Liam. Happy 4th.